What's up, YouTube, and welcome to... I forget what the game is called. Satellite Command. Um, it's a game I have played a little bit of, and it is basically a game where you explore the universe. So, let's get going. Now... <clears throat> Everything will show up sort of like this and when you hover over it, it will change To that because if I don't know if I can Okay, okay, but Every mission will show up with an arrow and It will tell you what you need Like load hcam and then Oh, I don't remember. Because I also need... Oh, there it was. You need to turn your... <coughs> um, solar panels towards the sun, so you keep your power. You also need to be um, aware of heat. And that's basically it. And then you can add more satellites. You can you can uh, put more satellites into. Whoops, nope. Um, into orbit, and you need to find the right orbit and stuff like that. So <clears throat> it is a game that is quite fun because you actually learn something about space, which to me is. It's actually a quite a fun topic and a very interesting topic. And then I don't know. There you can see deep space butterfly nebula. <clears throat> it shows you here uh, on this one how much power you have, and if you don't have any power, you can at all times stop it, and then it will re sort of recharge <clears throat> but I think I hope that we don't have to go into to hibernation and scoot around once because if it gets if it gets too hot it will just shut off and well I guess you can figure the rest out and then it will release some heat so we are coming up on 90% and should be done in a minute. And then we should learn something about this butterfly nebula. Contract complete. And then you of course. <clears throat> the more... Uh, the farther over here it is, the better it is. And this is not like timed you can take as long as you want NGC 6302 also called the bug nebula butterfly nebula is a bipolar planetary nebula is in the constellation Scorpius the structure in the nebula is amount is among the most complex ever observed in the planetary nebulae nebulae whatever the spectrum of NGC 6302 shows that the central star is one of the hottest stars in the galaxy with a surface temperature uh, in, ex in excess of 200,000 K, implying that the star from which it formed must have been very large. Um, this bipolar structure shows many interesting features in the planetary nebula, such as ionize, ionize, ionization walls, I think, knots and sharp edges to the lobes. <coughs> lobes, lobes. When stars run out of fuel, they go supernova and explode, pushing all of the all of the chemicals and gas surrounding it further into space. 
New stars then form from the new clouds of dust. Wow. And then at some point, we already have another one. But do we have... I guess we can... So here we can see what we have. We have the HCAM and the KLAS. And you can see find a target. And that's over there. And then we can so we start loading it. But I can't remember. Pirate. And then we can go around here for a little bit. Oh, we apparently sustained some damage. Not good, it's, it is in safe mode. How do I get out of safe mode? Stable. Next contact, do I really have to launch? Another one? Can I do that already? I actually do not know. <clears throat> Here. I don't have to decommission it, do I? When a satellite overheats, it's automatically put into save mode. This is a sim this is a similar to hibernation, but cannot reboot until it has cooled down. Oh okay. There. Awake. Actually, no. Yeah, I know. Oh, god damn it! Hibernate. Uh, because we can't. Oh, that is the thing. Um, wake up. Are you waking up? Yes. Uh, fine. Stop tracking. And then we, of course, need to... And then we can basically do that. And then I am thinking that we launch another one. There. I usually... When I launch another one... I can't. You can sort of see in this orbit because then I will always have sunlight. So here you can see uh, there. H cam. Oh, not H cam. What is this? Nothing researched. Set orbit, and then you can. Oh, nope. There. I guess it doesn't matter. There. And then. That should be fine. And then you can hold to launch. And here you can see. Oh. We are down and out. Well, this sucks. But here we can see it's being built, it's stable, and it's basically you do have to wait quite a bit on this game, in this game, because then you run out of power or it's it overheats or something along those lines and apparently we are launching one thing that I think that could be really cool is if um, if um, if you could see it being launched So 
So where was that other one that I wanted? Target. Load. <coughs> and then we'll just focus on this one for now. And uh, can I... One in three. Oh, okay. The hell's that? Okay. Oh, one of the first events in publicize to be to publicize is debris problem occurring. Challenge the second flight is TS seven. A flick of paint struck struggle someone's window creating a bit a pit over a millimeter wide on the STS-59 in 1997 endeavors from window was pitted about half its depth minor debris impacts have decreased increased since 1998 so i guess that was from um and then you no oh. no how is it that i do oh there there because then I get max max sunlight which means I will recharge zoom so that other one is there this thing oh wait what so are you ready to wake up again or something power down hmm not a fan <clears throat> because then we're just gonna go for this one. Oh no. And how about you? Sixty three percent. I'm gonna go back to you. You have plenty of power. So what I am doing here is basically, I don't know how, if it is, if it is showing, I'm making this orbit bigger of this, uh, I guess you could call it an asteroid. I guess it's probably better from here. You can see it's decreasing to, until it's out of Earth, 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 Earth orbit Messiah 63 also known as M63 NGC 5055 or the Sunflower Galaxy is a spiral galaxy in the constellation Canis Venatis that when a T she when I she when I she I think so <clears throat> consisting of a central disk surrounded by many short spiral arms segments M63 is part of the M51 group a group of galaxies that is that also includes M M 51 the whirlpool galaxy and these pictures are the real pictures by the way they are real what is that moon target what about you are you done oh my god it's gonna take some time
So what I think I am going to do is just turn this there and wait a little with this guy because I will not have enough. What about you? And also the heat. Oh wait, what? <coughs> Excuse me. So what I think we are going to do is we are gonna go in to hibernation with both there and then we wake up and wake up and then you're pointing there anything else what is that but I think it's better to go over to you whoa Well, you are on your way out, <coughs> and you are pointing to nothing. Is there something? It is that, but that's going away, so. I guess I can start. Tier 2 battery capacity. So let's start researching that. And then. But that doesn't upgrade. Anything you research doesn't upgrade it on your. on the satellites you already have in space. You can now. When researched, you can add it to a new spacecraft and you can potentially decommission these um, and by the way that strip you see there if I am oops, sorry if I'm not mistaken that strip is um, the international Sp international space station um, and that with that you can go down and refuel and do all sorts of things and then you can uh, set it all back found at longitude minus 5.21 and latitude 53.37 the plato ejecta is covered in <coughs> pyrolastic material pyrolastic material forms from the presence of volcanic activity and and pyrolastic glass has been found being the oldest sample material to date wow i did not know so let's go to you well <laughs> where am i going okay so it's time warp that must be yes that was that asteroid we got away so <clears throat> oh maybe not cosmos is a designation given to a large number of satellites operated by the soviet union and subsequently russia cosmos 1 the first spacecraft to be given a Cosmo Cosmos designation was launched on March on the 16th of March 1962 as of January 2014 2000, 2490 Cosmos satellites have been launched the spacecraft do not form a single program but instead consists of almost all Soviet and Russian military satellites, as well as a number of scientific satellites and spacecraft. Whoops. 
which failed during or immediately after launch but still reached orbit. Most Soviet and subsequently Russian military satellites were given cosmos, cosmos designations. Designation. Des, designations. Spacecraft including include optical recon recon assist satellites, communication satellites, early warning missile defense spacecraft, nuclear powered radar re reconnaissance satellites, anti satellite weapons and their targets. Navigation satellites and technology dem demonstrators, some scientific spacecraft such as that I cannot pronounce. Uh, this one, Sputnik, Sputnik, Bion, and Meteor satellites were also given Cosmo Cosmos designations. The designation is given only to satellites which are in Earth orbit. So I guess it was a satellite we pushed out of the way. Okay. So. Wakey wakey. I guess it is actually time to end. So I will wake up this last one I was just looking at. How long I've been going for. I've been going for about 20 minutes. A little over 20 minutes. So. I guess... How much is well it's gonna take a while so i will stop here and say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a little i did uh i know i did is what i wanted to say and i hope that you will join me on the next space adventurous advent adventurous adventures and hopefully learn some more as i said thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like what you saw and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye